Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas. I'm joined tonight by Christian. What up? And Anna. Good evening. Hey, so apologize for the late start. Uh, I was a little delayed tonight. And then as soon as we were about ready to go, Anna's internet crapped out. So, you know, it's just kind of the way it works. So, yeah, but here we are. We're here. We are here. And I actually realized that I still don't actually know what Christian's going to show off tonight. Because he never said in our... In our... <clears throat> opposition chat what do you call it like a group chat yeah not opposition yeah. chat why would we fight we can if you'd like yeah. we're only friends on air off air we're bitter enemies bitter enemies yeah. in fact every um every transformers convention we go to we have a duel and so far they've all been draws but as soon as they're not there will only be two people on microcasters that's true I don't know. I feel like for me that uh, normally between Christian and I, we bring gifts to each other because we normally are exchanging transformers between the two of us. So That's true. That does happen a lot. Uh, Both times we've gone together, Lucas, you've given me things in the car that you were that is giving true. to me for money. I brought you yeah. a cake to TFCon once, Anna. You did. You did. And the last con, you brought me soda. And it oh, was yeah, cake, cake flavored. Cake so. flavored soda. So it's two cakes. So I expect Ooh, some theme. sort of cake next week. Well, I also brought you uh, the Rock Lords movie that time. You did. Mm. The two it's cakes, like, that's interesting. I hadn't realized that connection. Mm. You're a gift giver. Yeah, yeah there will have to be cakes next time. It can be cupcakes. It can be... I think next I time think it should other types be of a cakes. bot bot that is in the shape of a cake. Crab there cakes. There are several of those. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. or crab cakes. That was that was last time in Baltimore, so... Urinal cakes, that's another type of cake. I'm trying to think of all the different types of cakes. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, so so tonight, who, who wants to start? Do we want uh, Christian surprise my figure or whatever the heck Anna is going to put up? Well, last time we did this, we should we tried rock paper scissors and we all did the same thing. So should we try it again and not do all the same thing this time? Yep. Sure. Okay. Here we go. Rock paper scissors shoot. Uh, I beat Lucas. Anna beats me. Oh, all right. It's like three ways. All right. Three way tie. I guess that means Anna goes first. Uh, did yeah. Lucas beat me? Lucas beat you. I beat Lucas. You beat me. Oh, Whatever. No. All right. You can go first. Great. It still didn't work. All right. So I have mentioned what I'm going to talk about tonight on an oof very briefly, but I've never talked about it the full length of a third of a show before. So I'm going to talk about it tonight. Tonight I'm going to talk about the deformed auto man. Car Masters. That is his mm. actual name, my goodness. Because <laughs> Auto Man. And the the like really interesting thing about this set to me is that, you know, it's deformed Auto Man Car Masters. Yet the Magic Square logo is plainly printed with their website on the back of the instructions. Now most places advertise this as a KO. It's an upscale KO the Magic Square figures. Or is it? Because it has their logo and it goes to their website. I don't know. I don't know them personally. I can't ask them. But if I could, I would ask them. I've heard if you order this from China that you just get these uh, knockoffs rather than the original Magic Square. Is that true? Well, the thing is the original Magic Square <clears throat> is kind of sold out now. So, like... Which is strange, because most of the time Magic Square produces plenty of their toys. So it kind of adds to this weird conspiracy theory I'm building in my head that maybe Magic Square actually produced their own knockoff. Because the quality is really similar and the plastic's really similar. And it's basically just a upscaled upgrade of the existing set. So who knows? <laughs> who knows? It's really interesting to think about that. So this is... Of course, I'm not going to just talk about now, Motor Did Master. you have the original 
of I of the started figure, the to collect the original size, mm-hmm. and I stopped because I like the size better on these. Because these can go, these can go all over the place. You know, these can be a big combiner for my legends, or they can be a small combiner for my generations figures. And I figured since getting these, I'm probably going to skip the legacy Minasaur. I um, might as well just get the bigger set. Hmm. Well, I definitely like this better than that. I can, I can guess that and not really know. So this is. The upscaled version of Magic Square's Minasaur. It's actually significantly bigger. I don't have any normal toys on my desk right now because I made room for this thing. Um, the best normal scale toy I have with me is Red Megatron. So he is, you know, this is a pretty big toy all put together. It's, you know, each of the figures is like somewhere between core class and deluxe class right now. Like a very small deluxe. You know, they're like the same height as Cliff Jumper, but they're skinnier as individuals. And oddly enough, the Motormaster is too. So it's a strange set in that way. Has a nice big sword that you always have to have with the Minasaur. And one of the cool things about it is it comes with enough optional parts and things you can do that you can actually, um, you can actually display it several different ways. Like, you can put the arm cars together and just have them hanging off the shoulder if you want to have that beautiful look for Minasaur. You can actually take apart the body arms and put it into the car so it looks like the car is the actual arm, more of the traditional combiner style. Or you can do like I have right here and have the full arm that just kind of is wearing the two parts of the car separately so it has... About as much girth as you can give it because his arms are a little skinny. So I just kind of want them to feel bigger. And then the um, the legs, you can easily, and I'm probably going to end up popping off the car with my luck. Nope, I didn't. You can easily rotate the legs around. And you can have back cars or front cars for the legs. Depending on how you like your Minasaur to look. Because Minasaur is one of those combiners that's not typically drawn consistently. So, whatever version you think is the right version, you can have. You can also switch out the chest plate for another chest plate. And you can add these as shoulder pauldrons if you want him to have the shoulder stacks. And finally, with this set, you can also switch to a different head. That has little buzz. <clears throat> That's really cool. Yeah, did it's a nice it actually little come with batteries, or did you have to supply those? They came with batteries, so it'll probably eventually turn into a sludgy corrosion monster in a couple of years, with my luck, as I forget it has batteries in it. I haven't switched that head on yet because I think I, I think I like this head design better. I think I like these horns. Better than the more head crest style horns. Mm. And I think I can actually take them apart. Oh, you know what? I'm I'm silly. This one has light up eyes too. There Surprise. You there you go. Yeah. I haven't played with this thing enough. Like, this is one of those things where, you know, you spend a decent amount of money on any third party combiner, and Legends combiners are no exception to that you know they cost less than the masterpiece ones but that's all they cost less than and you know, what about knockoff third party legends combiners are those it's a little ones? bit cheaper than the original it's it's funny because the thing that tends to happen with a lot of these third party figures these days the first release of the magic square figures the prices were lower and then as soon as they started to update the prices all the prices went up so it's like each set is basically the release price for the originals. So it's like $40 for each pair of limbs and like 90 for the um, Motor Master. So it's still nearly a $200 combiner. So it's, it's not bargain basement prices or anything. Because there's no quality loss really between... Um, the only quality loss I've noticed is that the paint scrapes relatively easily on the knockoff, and I don't think it does on the original. 
but that might just be my fumblingness that I managed to scrape the paint and I did it with the original. But um, yeah, it's got good heft. You can do a lot of the different combinations and move things around. It's got a lot of really cool features and I mean, it has a good shelf presence too. You know, it's not an ugly or simplified looking Minnesota at all. Now, one of the kind of amusing things to me is that out of combined mode, and I feel like I shouldn't try to take these off while I'm holding it, but um, when you convert the Motormaster trailer, it actually comes with these kind of impoverished looking legs. Like they're just, you know, they're skinny. They don't really have any accents to them. And then you have two different sets of leg covers, depending on what style you feel like what pants you'd like him to wear that you can put on. So now are the, are the legs uh, without those covers on them? Um, like, does that all fit within the um, motor master trailer or is it like, is all of that just like extra bits? Yes. So without the leg covers and the shoulder paldrons, the, entirety of the body you just take the cars off and take motor master out from inside the back and that entire body turns into the trailer and it's a very clean looking trailer and you don't have to parts form it like a lot of the minosaur so mm -hmm. it's just a kind of complicated transformation but in the end it's a rectangle so it's not it's not going to require too much heavy thinking there's, I, I don't know, man. I mean, that the like the fans project Motormaster. I know there's a lot of people that you know still have uh, scars from having. <laughs> that. This wasn't bad. I was worried because I have the um, I have the transformation one, yeah. and that trailer yeah. is torture to me because the trailer comes apart into eighty billion little pieces, and I've never managed to piece the trailer back together because it just. It's so frustrating to me. But this trailer is one piece and it just, it literally transforms. It's just a rectangle that transforms into a person and that person can wear cars. And when he wears cars, he's Minnesota. So yeah, it's pretty fun. I, I'm glad I got it. And I think it probably is going to run a good substitute for the legacy set. I don't think any everyone would say that though. You know, I think some people would say, you know, it's missing something I wanted. I mean, it's hard to say, you know, what the how it's going to stack up with the legacy since we haven't really seen uh, the majority of that set yet. But absolutely, it seems like that this has a lot of options. So uh, for you, depending on how you want your uh, Minnesota to look, so I think that's pretty neat. Um, and then the quality, obviously, you know, I don't know. I feel like if you're, like, in for Legends for most people, it's like you're either Legends or you're Hasbro. But it's, to me, I feel like it's hard to kind of mix the two for the majority of people. I think so. I think it's, it's probably very strange that I decided to recast my um, Stunticons as basically Decepticon minibots. And say that, you know, they're smaller than the other Decepticons. But it works for me. It's fun. Like, it's a different way to do it. And, you know, my collection's mine. So people can tell me they're wrong. <laughs> and he's pretty clean from the back, too. Just so you can see it. I do think Minasaur is one of the worst offenders for combiner scale. One of the worst offenders for combiner scale, and I remember I had him out one day, and I was just, like, messy with him, and my husband looked over, and he was like, is that even a combiner? Like, does that count? He's just wearing cars. The cartoon did not do that guy any favors. No. It did not. It was definitely a guy wearing cars, but... The one thing I didn't show off is that you can actually fully reverse the feet, too. You can pull off the backs and the fronts. But I just could not. I could not pry off the backs. Hmm. So, yeah. 
it's really cool. It's very modular. You can do a lot of things with it, and the quality is good on it. That's cool. That's neat. My thoughts? I wanted to share it. They're, like, showing it off. I think it's a really, it's a cool yeah. piece to have. It's and I think neat. I want all my combiners to be legend size. Because it's just, they're more stable at legend size. The bigger combiners get, the harder stability is. Well, what about your legacy changes? Combiner? I thought you said that you. You're right. That, that is that is this weird exception that the it's like the normal size combiners are all really unstable, but then I have three Titan size combiners that are all extremely stable. The Combiner Wars Devastator, the knockoff version of Predakeen because it had some upgrades to it, like ankle tilt on everybody. And then the um, the knockoff upscale Superion, the JJ Jet Commander. And those are all extremely stable. They're all huge. The the oversized Superion is more stable than the Combiner Wars Superion. It's bizarre, but it's a very sturdy figure. I almost said little guy, but it's enormous. You just need to get a knockoff of the uh, Combiner Wars Devastator. So in that way, you could just have... All of your knockoffs, or all of your combiners be knockoffs. I gotta work towards it. Sounds like a personal goal. There, there you go. It is not my goal. No, it's not my it goal just at happens. all. It's just, yeah, I just, like, I love Combiner Wars Superion. It's such a good set. I just, when you improve it and you make it bigger, I like it even more. Yep. Well, speaking of slight improvements... Ooh. I am showing off the Coronation Star Scream. Tape Scream. So pretty, pretty exciting here. Um, so he has a huge improvement here, which are his new hands that uh, open and close. I mean, can you believe it? Look, look at that. Um, so... Other than that, um, it's pretty much the same. The The deco is a little bit different. I don't have the uh, original Starscream with me to show off, but um, the uh, the original one had, like, tampos on the uh, the fins. and uh, But otherwise, it's pretty much the same. I believe the, um, the um, Decepticon symbol, I think, think is a little bit different i think on this I, th I believe it's a little bit bigger if i remember correctly um but uh so one thing that's like slightly annoying about this is that um this is actually my second one the first one i got from target and target got like eight of these in my local target um that uh, the paint is not that fantastic. And so I don't know if it was one of those things where they were rushing it or whatever it was. So like my first one had like paint issues um, on his um, waist plate. Um, this one, if I remember correctly, I don't know. It just seemed like the paint is like a little bit sloppy like up here on this one. Um, so that's one thing to kind of watch out for. Uh, if you're getting this one, you may potentially have some some paint issues, which is kind of lame because otherwise, like I do like to have the slightly upgraded hands. Uh, those are a little bit nicer. Um, the set overall, it comes with a couple of um, different like blasters. So it comes with the ones that were molded for the original toy. And then it has these... Uh, these other ones and either one will work uh, you know with the with the figure but not sure why they did both I don't know I guess maybe these potentially look better with the uh, you know with the coronation set I'm not sure but the coronation set is really cool I do really like that um, you know obviously it looks pretty good the um, you know the cape you can have it collapse or extend out um, and uh, plugs in. So that's pretty neat. Uh, and then also the throne. 
uh, is, you know, really neat as well. It has some five millimeter ports in the back. So I guess, I suppose if you want to uh, display other things in the back, you can. Um, but yeah, so I think, I don't know. I, I, I feel like that of the, to me, I think it's worth it to, you know, get these extra bits because I really would, you know, do like to have the coronation uh, set for, for Starscream and uh, the chair. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, quite worth the money, but I don't know. It is, it is what it is. I guess these days where they're doing these like slight upgrades where we keep have to, having to get just, you know, slightly better figures. Um, you know, it's it's a little bit better. But I've been waiting for a sale on that one, hopefully. Yeah. I would assume um that uh that they will just because I, I would think so. I don't know. It seems like the tar like at least the targets by me, you know, it's um like he's plentiful, so I don't know. I mean, who knows when they'll actually put it on sale? Because since it is the beginning of the year, I'm trying to remember like when they actually clearance toys out to like do the resets. It's would May it and August. Fall? Would it be May? Okay, so you may, potentially May. I guess you might might see the, see some of that. But yeah, like I I assume that this is. You know, just going to be sitting there at Target, uh, like whichever Targets actually do get them in, just because it is that leader class price point. You know that um, I feel like it's you know be kind of a tough sale for most people. I have not seen them out here yet. Yeah. At all. At all. Oh, I've got um, three stores that I frequent and I just haven't seen them. By the way, Anna, Phil says that you need to be the Peter of knockoffs. <laughs> so. uh, I wonder how and Peter would feel about someone being the Peter of something. He allows me to be discount Destron, so I guess it's okay. That's true, that's true. Yeah, as long as it's the, the Peter of knockoffs and not knockoff Peter. That is me. Right, right, exactly. I wouldn't want to take Christian's title since he basically already has it. I'll do the best I can, but I'm not I'm not that good. So Phil also asked me if I'm happier to get the new Coronation Starscream or Buzzworthy Cup. Oof, that's tough. I, I feel like until I have Cup in hand, I can't make a good, you know, comparison on that. I think this is probably more worth it. Like the cup, it's like I just feel bad that I'm getting it again. But yeah, I couldn't get myself to do the cup a second time. I was I was going to, but just well, you don't. I... You didn't like the original cup, so I don't. But it looks so much better with the paint on it. I followed the Anna in my head and got cuff because his face looks a lot better. With the right color and the blue eyes. It oh, looks it? so much better. Like, you, it is you, so much better. Do you have it or no? Like just Not yet. I ordered it from Pulse. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, overall, I really like that cup figure. Um, it was actually, I know that, uh, I think you guys didn't like it as much as I did. But uh, I think the face is kind of the only downgrade for me or the only bad thing for me. So, mm -hmm. uh, I don't it's know. I'm willing to go ahead and get it again. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know I didn't like the chest until I saw the repainted one. Yep. I would have been fine forever. But it's been like, oh, yeah, that's the cup. Yeah, yeah, fine. And I saw it. I was like, ooh, not having that translucent plastic on the chest makes them look so much better. Yeah. I was like, uh, I'll wait until I see him in person and figure it out. And then Pulse offered me the opportunity to not have to hunt for him, which is the first time I think they've done Target exclusives. Well, I'm really curious with that if it's actually going to be the date that's on there because it says 10 1 on the pulse list. Well, Cliff Jumper's already shipped. So. Yeah, my Cliff already oh. shipped. Oh, okay. Well, then. Never so I mind. think they're shipping now ish. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I think we'll I don't get think them. Cliff Jumper shipped yet. 
Maybe it did, and I just didn't pay attention. You might have. Like, cup hasn't gone yet, and I don't have a charge for it, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be in the next couple days or so. Couple. Yeah. Huh. So, huh. there you go. So, yeah. So, that's, yeah, uh, my turn. that's my source screen. But, I mean, I still think it's cool. I really like getting the chair. So, the throne, so... The throne looks really like cool, it. and I, I've seen um, I've seen our viewer Catherine put a lot of um, do a lot of fun things with the throne already. So, I mean, I do think in various throne, chairs, like feels really. Good. I want more like, chairs. It feels, if the the throne actually feels pretty solid, it looks fine. Yeah. Um, and so like. I don't know. It, do, it doesn't seem like that they really skimped on it. Um, and so it, it seems like that they kind of had to do this in order to, in order to get this out, they had to kind of repack another figure essentially, you know, in with it. Um, and I don't know. I'm okay with it. I, I think I would have honestly almost rather them put like Sunstorm or something like that in with it, you know, like, like a repaint or whatever, so that um, rather than putting Starscream in again, but we really agree with that last statement of yours. Both of us definitely funny. heard it. <laughs> no. You cut out for a bit. Oh, did yeah, I? Oh, I said around. I would have uh, rather them like put Sunstorm in. Oh yeah. Instead of oh, Starscream. Oh yeah. Just to get one more of them. That would have been, that would great. Be nice. I would have bought that instantly. Me too, actually. But I actually don't have any of that mold. The trouble is, is that like we would have like greatly preferred that, right? But the average person, the guy that's like doing the buying at Target, Walmart, or whatever, is not looking for Sunstorm. He's looking for Starscream. So I, I and think you put a freaking that. chair with some rando. That that person doesn't know because they're like, why is it yellow star scream? Why does he come with some chair? It's not even a throne anymore at that point. Right. So I mean, they could have done that as like a generation selects or whatever, but you know, for a retail release, it, it wouldn't have flown. Dang! Now I want that. You put that I'm in sorry. my mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I mean, you could repaint. You can get this and repaint it as Sunstorm. Spray paint. Yeah, well, I'm good with yellow now, apparently. I made Buzzsaw. There you go. I, my turn. I, can I share one one quick thing that's kind yes. of funny, right? Because here's here's Minotaur, right? Like who came out? <laughs> it's Motormaster. Surprise. He's not needed. There's just a nice big hole in his back now. <laughs> that's funny. I get the feeling the legacy will be something similar to that because just that model works for that character. It mm -hmm. does. It pulls off the look just fine. Like it's really just a, a giant robot wearing cars and a truck in its back. In a world where that has to exist in the in the physical sense, as opposed to yeah. you know animation magic, I think it it's probably okay for it to do that. And it works. Sorry to steal your fire, Christian. Please. That's okay. Become fire. Look who it is. Look who it is. It's Perceptor. Ooh. I'm, I'm a little jealous here. Last week. Me too. Well, you guys could have ordered him. I sent you the link. I know, I know. And I didn't realize I had him on pre-order at a dumb place. Ooh. Ah, I didn't Perceptor. have anything else to order at the same time. So. Yeah. That was the my shipping was kind of bogus. Too. I, don't want to I be didn't shipping. either, but I had rewards, so I, I used them to get him for fifteen That's bucks. That's a smart thing to do. So here he is. The first thing I like about him is that the red and the blue are fantastic. Look at that. That blue. Mm -hmm. Look at that red. Also, the the cream color around the uh, slide holder. Man, I don't know what that's called on the microscope. Uh, is really good. His Autobot symbol is good. That same cream color is used on the dials. It's not silver. It's just this cream color, which is animation accurate. Uh, let's see if you can hear his ratchet. Can you hear that? You're not the first person to mention that to me, that he has ratchets and the... It's a really smooth ratchet. I love it a lot. 
but he's cool. Uh, he does have one issue, and it's an issue that I would not have noticed three years ago. But because I know you, Anna, he has a very neutral, not fun face. But do you have his box? Uh, no. Because he's smiling so fun like on the box. He has such a fun, not perceptor like smile. It's just really goofy. And then the face is grim and serious. Such a bummer. It's like a tease. Oh, he's, a, he's a fun guy. Yeah, it's a tease. He he's should have that like, happy, smiley face. Yeah, and he doesn't. Uh, he's just kind of neutral, which is blah. He does come with this pistol, which is, I think, accurate. It could be generic. I'm not really sure. It's here. It's molded in the same red plastic. It's just there. I don't think he needed it. I would have liked to have seen the rifle set, but that's not accurate for Studio Series, so I'll probably find an upgrade kit for that. But he's neat. He is probably the best Perceptor we have had. He does Perceptor better than any of the other toys we've gotten so far. But don't expect anything like special about him. Like, you know, Hot Rod was special. This is not mm-hmm. This is not that. But he does do Perceptor better than we've seen him before. I, I'm looking if you wanted... forward to the next Perceptor that does it slightly better than this one. <laughs> I think I'm probably done. If I could have one super minor complaint, I do think his hips are a bit too wide. There's a second person that... I've heard make that complaint. Cool. Is it Catherine? No, it was Duran. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, they're a bit too wide. It's fine if you pose it and out and don't just make it stand straight on. And it's to accommodate the microscope mode, which is very nice. So... Yeah, it doesn't look great standing straight up, but... Posing is more fun anyway, so it just encourages you to have fun. Yes, and I like to pose all my figures for display now anyway, so yay. No no more you know yearbook photo pictures for me. He looks really cool. Um, what You like the colors a lot. I've heard other people complain about the colors, right? I'm not making that up. I mean, those I have like other people been unhappy with the colors. I, like, I think people like the toy colors, too. Which is kind of okay. like a little bit of a darker red and then teal instead of blue on the on the arms and the legs. So if you like toy colors perceptor, this is not that. And Titans Return one was. Yeah. But I wanted animation colors perceptor, so here he is. Well, I kind of the like idea that. that's kind of like the idea of the line. Yeah. Is to make animation accurate figures, so I wouldn't be super surprised if we got a select toy accurate one with the uh, the different head, his faceplate head. Yeah. Or maybe that could just be Magnificus. Or they could not do either of those. I don't know. That'd be pretty but, cool, uh, though, just to have that. Yeah. But I, I would prefer that one because I just I don't have a good perceptor in my collection, so I'm excited to have him. I still have the, um, the older generations one, whatever he was a part of. That one was good, too, but he was truck receptor, yeah, which it's is fine. fine. All different, all accomplishing different goals. This one has the goal of looking like he does in the movie and in the show, and he accomplishes it really well. It's good. He could use a different head, but they're going for the most neutral thing they can do now, so you can pose it however you want, and I get that, but he needs a bit of a spark, I think. I, th- I think a lot of them do, but uh, yeah. that comes down well, to personal I kinda, preference. I kind of feel like the original Fans Toys one was like that as well. Like, I really feel like when I got that, I was like, eh. That one did have swappable blue and teal pieces, though. Yeah. Yeah, get Perceptor if you can. He's nice. He does he does Perceptor better than we've seen him before. I look forward to it. And it's still cool that he turns into a microscope. You know, it's not quite as cool as a mean, you know a more sizable microscope that made you feel like you at least had a toy microscope, but it's still neat. I love the, I love the real stuff. Alt modes. They're fun. Yeah, it is. It's neat, especially coming right on the heels of blaster. They team up in the comics a lot. They're together in the movie. Mm -hmm. They're both real objects. It's nice to have them together. Yep. Can't wait to get mine. I'm excited. Whenever I eventually get it. One day you will have him. 
one day one day it's funny i've been talking to people about just like delays on things like my friends who don't collect toys but have ordered a few things and they're talking about you know having six month delays and how atrocious that is and i'm just like we don't even know when our toys release anymore as toy collectors it's just like you order it and it's gonna come out sometime between six months from now and six years from now you've got to pre-order your safe he <laughs> move on with sometimes your they're three months early and then they're six late. months late you have no idea no idea whatsoever we do the best we can it's exciting though we keep getting stuff because of that that's true yep all right yeah. well um i guess that is it for tonight so yeah i guess um, we all three would recommend what we have yeah yeah i definitely I recommend the big minnesota it's fun it does look fun it is a lot of fun like i enjoy playing with it every time i play with it trying to think of like the last figure that i got where i was like oh i definitely would not you know recommend that so i guess like jackpot well i was fine with jack yeah. like, personally because but my face wasn't that bad so tigatron i didn't recommend him i don't recommend a lot of things fine. there was something where you and i teamed up on it man i can't remember what it was now though I remember, like, we were like do it? not get this was it jackpot? I don't think it was jackpot. We were, mm. we had res. I had reservations about jackpot, but it wasn't mm. like don't mm. get it. What was it? It definitely wasn't blaster. I think it was back in the fall. Who knows what we were doing at that time? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't feel like that. There's a like, oh, oh, it was uh, freaking ractonite. Was it ractonite? Okay. It was ractonite. I was like, do not buy this thing. Was it also Scorponok? No. No? Okay. Because I said don't get Scorponok. I feel like Scorponok Not big is Scorponok, like, but little yeah. Scorponok. But yeah, yeah but like Scorponok little Scorponok, fine. like, he's fine. Right, right. Like, I think there's plenty of he's, Beast Wars He's the figures. worst of yeah. kingdom beside the fossilizers, but that's still a pretty <laughs> high bar. So, like... Oh, but Tricranius is, is a beautiful creature. I mean, it's so pretty. That. I don't want to buy him. Oh, it's so gorgeous. The color of the thing is so good. All right. Well, um, I guess thanks, guys, for joining me. And then uh, thank you to everyone in the chat. Thanks to Randall. Thanks to James. Thanks to Phil. Thanks to Catherine. Thanks to Ron. Um, and then I don't know if uh, – I don't think uh, Randall mentioned uh, about the – book club this week uh but it is on sunday night at 9 30 eastern 8 30 central on the tf talk discord and you guys are doing what is it, revolutionaries one and two yeah Woo, that's exciting Ooh, boy Yay. yeah i do own it from a humble bundle so i'm not complaining this time but i'm not excited <laughs> no Jeez. so but yeah ch check Good luck that with out that. so um, there won't be a cut the tape, I don't think, this week because Rick hasn't sent me anything yet. So just FYI on that. Um, yeah, I guess that's all we got. So. Glowy eyes. All right. Well, thanks, guys, and we will see you next week. Yeah, thanks for being here.